Good morning, it's Dale here. Just at the end of my two, over two weeks of teaching, I'm staying in, in, in New Zealand for a couple more days. Thought I would just start my little talk a little bit different today by showing you the kawaii tree, sort of something from my youth. It's a beautiful tree and sometimes, if you're lucky, a uh, tui pops in, but not right at the moment. So then I'm in my sister's place, so I'm just having a little look at her back garden, seeing what she's got. I see some tulips out and things like that. And I thought I would just show you some of the work that I've done, you might have seen before. But I was teaching a class in Geelong for a week, which was um, uh, simple pleasures. And we made, the, well, the class made the most beautiful pieces. Then the next, came to Quilt Symposium and I taught, it's a bit windy out here, and I taught uh, cloth paper scissors and there's some lovely work from there, really nice. And the last day I taught a class weaving and stitching, which I suppose is up and under and over and in and out. And I brought some samples to show them and this is uh, one of the first weaving pieces I made on sari silk. When you get sari silk you can't always repeat um, the colours, so this was a lovely one that I could never get again, and I just wove it together, holding itself, and used the ribbon to make roses on it because the um, fabric reminded me a little bit of roses, so I thought I'd do that. So I'll just pop that one aside, and this is another little one that I made uh, for Uluru area, as you can see. Here's my beloved. Um, Gimp. I sold a lot of gimp this week. It's always very popular and you can hand stitch with it of course like I have here and um, but what you're probably used to seeing the fact that I like to like lay it down, circle it around and uh, couch it onto the surface. It's just wonderful for this sort of effect. Um, and then there's my red one which has done the traps a lot. There's the little flower stitcher um, flowers and just using things like uh, weaving the um, the uh, flimsies, the pre-felts, and in some cases just patching the pre-felts. So this one here was one where I used a lot of bits and pieces um, and just anchored them all down. So then I've stitched my circles. I am a circle person. I explain that to people. Some people use other shapes. And the velvet, of course, is so nice for features and so on. Places to use all the tiny buttons you might collect. The gimp that you have, once again. And just, just you trying different threads, different stitches, putting them down however you like. This one here is my one of my Kimberly Dreaming pieces. I've done a lot of Kimberly Dreaming pieces. And because I like the colours, they, they're not part of my background, but they just sing to you when you arrive in the room. And so each little square, and different to what I usually do for the running, each little square has been stitched individually with its back stitch. And on the top is a frangipani leaf uh, with velvet and pre-felt. And again, the gimp, and so on. And uh, just while I'm here with it, here's my other Kimberly Dreaming piece. It's been around the tracks a long time. And again, it's stitched in up and down. Each of the ones is different, probably because it's quite large. And on the back, I've got a cotton gauze, cotton scrim, which I've worked from the back of my embellishing machine to bring that texture up to the top. So it's, you never know with these things, sometimes it's very therapeutic stitching, whether it's um, something that um, uh, is pleasurable to do perhaps of an evening. And it never worries me when like the little, they don't line up, because as I explained to people very carefully, fairies do need spaces to breathe through. So that's that one there. And this of course, this is one of my favourite ones I'm still working on. This is Stonehaven. And I've used silk fibres and water soluble and the hand stitching and woven up different fabrics, different textures. Look in your stash for all sorts of things that you might have. And uh, let's have a look at another one, which is a sampler pack. Just simply trying different things, putting down different textures and different fabrics that you've got. And uh, this one here's a very old one but it generated quite a bit of interest and it's of course still the Kimberly but weaving in other things that you've got picking up things that you've made 
joining them up together, weaving them in, playing with them. So it's a sort of another quite good for waste not what not type thing. And on the back, it's uh, you know when you collect up these things like fabric, uh, paper, flowers and stuff, and a little bit of knitting across the top. And I've put that in with the embellishing machine. So while I haven't got anything new or exciting, I thought it's always nice to share your work. And tomorrow I'll be making my way back down to Wellington and flying home on Wednesday back to see what's happening there. So I'll see you again soon. Bye.